Hello, the audience. If any, if everything went correctly, um, I have a, I have succeeded in my brilliant solution. How do you like it? Oh shit, that was the wrong thing. Anyway, so yeah, I, I personally like my solution. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to uh, extend into the next world, and I will end it. Um, I mean, if we end around like at 26 minutes next time, then. I'll just stop it there, because these are getting a lot longer. Alright, nice. So I think these choppers are going to start eating, eating zombies. Alright, sweetness. So we got another 29 minutes to kill. <laughs> I really like this solution, by the way. Yeah, that, that took a whole extra minute and 29 seconds. Anyway. <laughs> not minute. Not 29 seconds, I meant. Nine seconds. Anyway. So this is the repeater. It fires two peas instead of one. Also, happy Sunday. Because it's Sunday now. Because I've done the thing that causes it to be Sunday. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just humming along to the music. Uh, yeah. So basically, uh, it, I don't know if you've noticed, but I do have the top bar up here arranged in the way that I'm going to place my plants. So it'll be sunflowers, then pea shooters, then snow peas, then repeaters, then chompers, then um, walnuts, which pushes them all, the w which pushes the zombies all the way back to the first two rows. And usually, the first two or three rows is where I want the zombies to be. I won't push them back any further from there when I unlocked. I unlock. Yeah, I unlock um, more powerful plants. So, yeah. Okay. Everything appears to be going pretty well. It's been about three minutes. I don't know what my timer thinks a lap is set to, but I'm using, like, the the lap timer that you're supposed to use for like track or whatever and um yeah, every like obscure time of like minute and 42 seconds or whatever it makes a full lap Kill it! Okay, resorting to this. Yeah, sometimes I kind of have to be a bit messy if I want to kill the zombies. So, there's the messiness. And messiness resolved, mostly. Still have a pea shooter missing, but still. Oh, that shouldn't have been my priority. Oh, I should have been okay with messiness as long as it functioned. Oh no, that went wrong in so many ways. Messiness time. Oh, damn it, I was hoping I might be able to save the pea shooter. Save the pea shooter. Okay, so that one's basically taken care of. Alright, we've got. I almost said an hour and 75, son. Um, yeah. Because I keep glancing back at the time. I don't have a good sense for how long this is taking. Honestly. I don't know if I ever will, because I'm going to be endlessly paranoid of going over half an hour. So yeah, I kind of accidentally started a third series, by the way. I mean, I did intend for this to be a series, but, you know. 
I'll probably end up finishing Breath of the Wild before continuing this, by the way. Or Half-Life 2. I'll, I'll only do two series at a time. Um, just one of them's on hold. I don't know which one's on hold. I assume Half-Life 2's on hold. Well, either this one or Half-Life 2 will be on hold. Anyway, so this shoots up two peas every, you know, same interval. Uh, just because Half-Life 2 comes in three separate parts, and I'm not even finished with the first one. So, yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm going to finish Breath of the Wild and then just do that series and this series. Yeah, I've got an Xbox 360 and a PlayStation 3 next to each other using an HDMI I got from the Switch. I feel like I've sinned. Oh, it's a good day to sin. It's Sunday. <laughs> Sorry, I'm obsessing over that. It's Thursday for me. It's been Thursday for the past two episodes. I almost said four because I did record record two for uh, Black Ops, but whatever. Alright, nice. So, as I mentioned earlier, every level ends with you getting an object that is not a plant that moves the plot forward and serves as an introduction to the next world. So, yeah. That's that's what our next object is. It, our object will, we will get at the end of this. So, there's ten levels in each, um, each world. And the, I, th I believe, fifth and tenth levels are mini-games. And, yeah, the 10th level, after you beat the 10th level, you get the first plant for the next world, which is neat. But the final level is always, um, you know, you, you, it's a certain type of minigame that you'll see. It's cool. I'm trying to not spoil the next worlds if you somehow haven't seen this game before, so... Alright, there we go. Shouldn't be too hard to kill these guys. Yeah, I know I should probably have walnuts over here, but whatever. Who cares? Nice. There we go. Hello, we are about to launch an all-out attack on your house. Sincerely, the zombies. <laughs> so they give you little letters. That's the object that you get, by the way. And then you get a mini-game in the style of this, which is um, it's just delivering plants of that world to you. So we're starting with that. This back row will now be snow peas, because I said so. And the second row will be repeaters. And the third row will be regular V shooters. This music is so good. This row will be uh, those guys. And this. Alright, there we go. Nice and protected. The least protected row I think will be the top, so let's put that there. And naturally that behind that. Alright, sweetness. Uh, I don't know where we're going to put the potato mines, honestly. Symmetry here. It looks a bit patchworky, but you can tell where the lines are supposed to be. Unless you can't, then that's a me thing. I mean, obviously you can tell where they're supposed to be, but I just like envision static images of you know, the snow peas here and the regular pea shooter here and the two chompers and the. There we go. I don't have to imagine that one anymore. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Repeater there. Why not? Start 
getting rid of the pea shooters. Then we got another walnut. I suppose we can do something with that, I'm sure. Let's just place down uh, these guys. Just so we can free up some space. Because when they reach the end, they stop coming. So, I definitely want more plants, but yeah, once again, I can put that there. And that there, and that there. And fuck it, why not? That there. And that there. Unless they're snow peas, they're worthless to me. <laughs> or, you know, chompers, obviously. Do need chompers. Anyway, a lot of them, a lot of the things are puns. Again, like pea shooter and sunflower literally producing sun, and the snow pea being a variation of the pea shooter, and the repeater being just, you know, a duplicate of the pea shooter. I'm only placing stuff past these walnuts just to get rid of them. The only ones that I actually care about right now are the repeaters and the snow peas. There we go. And now I only care about the repeaters. Well, unless I get snow peas, in which I'll dig these guys up. Okay. You better give me a snow pea real quick or else I won't care about them. Oh yeah, and choppers. Well, not anymore. And now I care about nothing. Apart from, you know, cherry bombs. I'm sure I'd... Yeah, like that one. I can get rid of that. Repeaters mean nothing. Yeah, this... these Trust me, these levels do get harder. But this one's just kind of a breeze, because as long as you place this stuff, you're fine. And as long as you don't have, like, a full row of just... I don't know. Choppers, cherry bombs. If you have a full row of cherry bombs, you might go a bit wrong. Potato mines might also be a kind of a backward strategy. There, there's literally no space for this. I could dig up plants, but that kind of defeats the purpose. There we go. Put you there as long as. You see, the thing is that like garbage plants that I'm trying to throw away here are actually getting like killing a lot of stuff so yeah there we go get back your views I'm gonna end up just not using any of these cherry bombs there we go nope don't need a snow I don't need anything I'm just placing stuff over here. <laughs> None of it means anything. Yeah, we'll be able to get to the next world. Easy. Maybe one or two levels in the next world. I don't know. I'm thinking one. Yeah, again, one or two. Because the next world does take a while each level. Very, very slow-paced world. And again, I'm calling them worlds until you know, the reveal of what the next one is. I mean, I could keep it a secret even further. Boom! We got a mushroom that costs zero sun. So that's a pretty big shake-up to what we, um, already know. Short, uh, shoots short-range spores at the enemy. So that is, again, mushroom zero. We've never seen a mushroom before. We've never seen something cost zero. And now it's nighttime. Evening. <laughs> Those zombies just won't let up, will they? You'll notice that, uh, that fighting zombies at night is different during the day. For one, you won't get any sun falling from the sky. You can still get sun from sunflowers, though. And lucky for you, you got yourself some puff shrooms. Uh, plant as many of those as you can, and you'll be A-O good. So, yeah. So, sunflowers still work, but we don't get any sun from the sky. And puff shrooms, then that's the reason puff shrooms are free. Because we won't get any sun from the sky, and you never realize how much sun you actually get from the sky until you don't have it anymore. Um, and, yeah, let's just cherry bomb, because 
it's just kind of a safer bet. And now there are gravestones, by the way. And, um... Different music. Hell yeah. Yeah, and these guys never go away, by the way. If you've played Plants for Zombies 2, they eventually disappear. So, yeah. If you know about the timing, I would have three sunflowers by now, but now I only have one and a half. <laughs> because I am relying solely on that one sunflower and the 50 sun I started with. So, yeah. Once again, you never notice how much, like, the sun from the sky actually helps you. For the longest time, I thought they were shooting bubbles. But I, you know, one day I read all the entries, and I'm like, oh, shit, they're shooting spores. Goddamn. So, yeah. And my favorite plant's a mushroom, by the way. Because <laughs> mushrooms get pretty cool in the future. And the designs get really cool, and you realize, like, oh, that's a, that's a joke. That's funny. In, in, like, the Shakespearean way of being funny and, like, get it? Because it's intended to be a joke. If you've ever read Shakespeare, you, you know what I mean. If you've ever had a theater teacher read you Shakespeare, you know what I mean. <laughs> Because just at some point she shouts, That was funny! <laughs> anyway. It was an English teacher, by the way. It, my theater teacher didn't do that. So we unlocked co-op and versus. Uh, which are, like, little mini-games like this. But, you know, you can do it with multiple people. So these are the worlds, by the way. This is world two. It's at night. Um, yeah. Now that nothing gets too crazy. We don't go to, like, candy world or whatever. Um, yet. That's where Zombies 2 does, of course, uh, but we're not talking about that, we're talking about this. Much, much better game. Yeah, anyway. Much better designed game, rather. So, yeah, as you probably noticed, uh, pretty short range on these guys. Um, oh yeah, we also picked up money just now, and you can use the money to buy stuff like the aforementioned favorite plant of mine, um, which will go unnamed till I potentially unlock it eventually. I don't know when. Because there's no, like, thing in the shop telling you when you got the item, so I can't, like, go to my main file and see, like, oh, I got that after the game, so you don't unlock it before then. So I might not... We might not ever see it, but I don't know. I assume we do, because I seem to remember playing through this game and using... One of those, although those could have been one of my three main playthroughs. I don't know. Because you have to play through the... I don't want to mention it in the last episode. Which was a whole day ago, granted. Or no time at all if you're watching this on a playlist. Well, 20 minutes still if you're watching this on a playlist. Yeah, alright, we'll be able to do two. I think we'll do two worlds and then call it quits. So I believe the next plant we unlock is the second sun producer, which, um, yeah. I won't spoil it from there. So yeah, every, at the end of, whenever we get a huge wave of zombies, I think it's only, uh, during the final waves, um, do we get, uh, zombies rising from the gravestones. So, yeah. Things are horrifying. And don't worry, we'll be able to get rid of them eventually. Plants for Zombies 2, you just fucking hit the things, which defeats the point of them. Anyway, so this is... a Mushroom, by the way. It's the Sun Shroom. Gives small sun at first, and the normal sun later. So, yeah. Hey, you've collected 310 coins so far. When you collect 750 coins, I'll tell you something really neato. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're now... So this is half the price, but it produces small sun, and then eventually produces bigger sun. So we're going to use that instead of the sunflower. Pretty ballsy move to jump away from the sunflower, the thing we've been depending on for most levels in the game. You know, without the... We're disregarding the first one. Anyway, so we can now place two of these immediately. Rather than just one. And they produce... 15 sun each, which does not add up to 25. So make sure these things don't get destroyed before they fully grow into stuff that can produce 25, because then it'll just be a really uneven number, and there's no 
the cheapest plant in this game. Well, the cheapest plants range from zero and then jump up to 25. There's nothing in between. So, you know, if, you know, all your sun shrooms grow up when you have, like, 20 sun, then, oops, you're now stuck with that 20 sun forever. Unless you replant one and dig it up, or whatever. For the sake of OCD, make sure these guys don't die. <laughs> and in a second, you'll see them grow. There we go. I really like this game. It's really calming. Very nice. I seriously recommend getting it, by the way. I mean, I had the commitment to 100% it. Obviously, I'm going to recommend it. If I 100% any game, it's easily one of my favorites. I know I've said that about every game I've played so far, including Black Ops 2. <laughs> but whatever. Also, that guy's gravestone says expired. Poor bastard. Yeah, so... It, it is still a bit weird that we're using pea shooters against these guys. But these guys are never gonna grow up. Nope. Alright. The second I mention it, they grow up. Right, so I, I think I probably should have mentioned the newspaper zombies. So they have newspapers as shields, and then when you destroy them, then they become... They have the same health as a regular zombie, but they start moving really fast. And they also eat your plants really fast, and they're horrifying if you're not prepared. Yeah, and... By the way, the... The, uh, sun shrooms, before they grow, produce enough, like, mini sun that it averages out to, like, multiples of 25. So you don't need to worry about having a specific amount of sun shrooms or whatever. It'll... It'll all average out as long as you collect all of it. Also, uh, I'm collecting sun by mashing R2. Uh, R2 and L2 are the buttons that do that. Uh, I just mash R2, and yeah, it it starts to hurt my index finger after a while. I just noticed it because, dear God, is there pain. And once again, as you can probably tell, is these games are actually taking a very long time now. And later on, I, they don't... I mean... Certain, certain games. Nothing in the main game, but certain times when you're playing the game will matches last a couple hours. Like, upwards of an hour and a half. Um, but that's that's way into the game. That's, like, literally after game. You don't unlock that till you beat the game. And I might end up doing that as a video, as a couple videos, <laughs> now that I think about it. Like, three or four videos of just me doing that. It'll be just... I'll be AFK most of it. I'll be... I could read stuff. I could... I could do stuff in that time. Oh my god. I just... My brain is buzzing with how many things I can do on the channel. <laughs> yeah, we're... We're halfway through this, by the way. We have a very long way to go. We're about to get rid of the puff shrooms entirely and just rely on these guys. Nope. <laughs> these guys are actually kind of okay defense, by the way. Because you can just replenish them infinitely. Like that. <laughs> um, I do kind of want to set up another row of them. For, again, defensive purposes. And... dead. It'll be like five minutes. Currently, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Um... Yeah, okay. I'll ask him. Anyway, if you're brain dead, I was having a conversation with someone else. <laughs> I wasn't just talking to myself. That would have been amusing, though. I could just do that. Oh my god, I realized I could just do that on recording, and no one would question it. Oh, I should... I should totally do that. Oh my god, I could have like a like an in-channel scavenger hunt, and it just starts because one of my random conversations that I had with other people wasn't real. I was like subtly dropping hints.
Almost. There we go. <laughs> once again, this is... Once we get to the uh, final wave all in the episode. Okay, so I'm thinking we chaboof these guys. Chaboof. Do not question the almighty cherry bomb. And chaboof! It says powy, but in the if you, if you read the almanac, it says they they explode in eight. Um, so, yeah. Well, it's because that's why they explode in eight. It's because one of them wanted to explode, the other one wanted to detonate, so they decided to just compromise and explode in eight. Okay, so with the, um, yeah, so this is the next plant. This is the, yeah, it's the fume shroom. That's what it is. I, I mean, I remembered I was just being courteous. Anyway, so, yeah, we'll, we'll find out what that zombie does on the next episode. Uh, good night, everybody.